Newly released court documents reveal how the special counsel closed in on former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort and his associate Rick Gates. The two men are expected to appear tomorrow in federal court. Paula Reed is outside the court in Washington with new evidence in the Russia investigation. Paula, good morning. Good morning. Both men are currently under house arrest, which is a pretty unusual arrangement for white collar crimes. But this morning, we're learning new details about why the special counsel is demanding extreme measures. In the 17 page memorandum, prosecutors say Manafort and Gates pose serious flight risks, citing their history of deceptive and misleading conduct. The special counsel says earlier this year, Manafort registered a phone and email under an alias and then traveled to Mexico, China, and Ecuador. According to the document, Manafort has three U.S. passports with different numbers. Andrew Weissman, who argued for the house arrest, is known for flipping witnesses in high-profile cases. In another document, now unsealed, a judge says that one of Manafort's former lawyers could be called to testify, making an unusual exception to attorney-client privilege made in cases where clients may have lied to their lawyers. And investigators are still interested in the June 2016 meeting at Trump Tower that Manafort attended along with Donald Trump Jr. and a Russian lawyer to discuss potentially damaging information on Hillary Clinton. Are you going to pardon Mr. Manafort? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your reaction to George Papadopoulos? Thank you very much. While President Trump tried to distance himself from the Mueller indictments, the special counsel will be talking to current members of the West Wing and will interview one official this week and more after the president's trip to Asia, including White House Communications Director Hope Hicks. Mueller's grand jury will also be here at the federal courthouse on Thursday to hear more evidence in the case. CBS News has learned there are other documents under seal, but it is not known who, if anyone, will be publicly charged. Gail? All right. Thank you, Paula.